Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a, a pie chart from this data here um, like this. Okay, so let's have a look at that have a have a look at this. So what you need to do is just select the color and the uh, data, don't need the angle, and then go to insert and then go to recommended charts and then select pie chart. Okay, so let's move this over here. We'll make this a little bit bigger for us so we can play around with it. Okay, we've got different types of charts that we can go for before we do anything. So let's just um, flick through some of those. So that one, there's that one, there's that one, there's that one, there's that one. There's that one, that one, that one, that one. Okay, and I'm actually going to go with that one. Okay, so you can choose a different sort of format. Okay, so we'll just make it a bit bigger. Now, what we would like to do is make some of these fonts a bit bigger. So we'll select that to begin with, and then we press Home, and then we will change the font size here. Just make it to about 24, no, 20. Okay, let's select these as well, and do the same format. Sorry. 20 and bold. So just select them again. We can just select the bold, make it stand out. Okay. We can put in a title. Uh, so we could uh, change the font size of the title. Let's make that uh, 24 because so, it's a title. And again, we'll make it bold. Okay. So what we're going to do is uh, students. What's the favourite? Colour. Okay, now we want to sort of make the colours the, the same. So the blue's alright. So if we just select this one and right click and format the data series, we just need to make sure we've selected that one. Go to the field. Okay, make sure we're on the right one. Okay, so just select, make sure we've selected it. Okay, and then select the next one. And change the colours. Use the colour palette. Okay, and then the final one. Green. Okay, and then we've got, that now looks very similar to that. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to work out how to find the angles. So if we just delete those, okay, and to put, find the angles, well, the first angle was 10, but that's, that is cell B2. This one here is B2. So put in B2, and it was divided by the total, which is 62, and then times of... Uh, 360 because of 360 degrees in a circle so it's, that will that will give me that one now to make it a formula of course you need to put equals in the front and then click the green arrow okay this reason being is okay you need to be in the right cell let's go in the angle cell and do that sorry so start again so equals B2 that selects that one there divided by the total which is 62 divided by 62 and then times 360 okay and then select the green arrow and it will work out the angle and then scroll down to here and then they, they see that they add up to 360 if you want to format the um, cells so they only give to no decimal points right click format the cell and then go to number and then reduce the number of decimal places to zero because we can deal with whole angles that way. Okay, just one last thing. If you select the type of the chart and then go to chart design, uh, and then scroll scroll down to where it says pie chart, and then you can do a three D one as well, which will probably look a little bit better in some sort of coursework that you were doing. Okay, and then if you wanted that, let's just close this off because that's the format. If you wanted that, you just copy it and you can insert it into Word or PowerPoint or some other document. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to create a pie chart using uh, Microsoft Excel. 
I hope you found it useful. Thank you.